everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is in a line with National Breastfeeding Week. Um, I am a mummy to two girls and I have breastfed both babies. Still breastfeeding one. <laughs> so my channel is all about like lifestyle and parenting and yeah just a kind of a bit of everything. You've got some cleaning videos on here, some food, some shopping hauls. Um, yeah so I'm just do a bit of everything. So today's video I'm going to talk to you about things that people don't tell you before you start your breastfeeding journey, which I wish that I kind of knew before I started. Um, so let's just get this out here. First of all, before anybody comments or anything, I'm not a doctor. I am literally just a mum that has had experience of two kids. Um, on my channel, everything goes. There is no judging. If you breastfeed, great. If you don't, then great. Like, it's fine. This is just me talking about what I would like to have known before I started my breastfeeding journey. So number one would be the first six weeks are hard. <laughs> I wish someone told me that. Um, it, is, it settled down. It settled down after like six weeks when the baby like finishes cluster feeding and your supplies like how they want it and stuff. It's just amazing. Like a six week mark hits and then all of a sudden everything becomes so much more easier um, and baby settles down. So this thing I wish that I knew was cluster, feed, cluster feeding. Now I know bottle fed babies do it exactly the same as well. So it's not just because you're breastfeeding, but cluster feeding. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's tireless, it's relentless, but you know, it's, it's got to be done. Babies are constantly feeding um, to build up your milk supply, to, yeah, make orders for more milk. Many a times I sat on the sofa, just couldn't get up because the baby was feeding. Every time the baby back down, she would cry for more milk. And yeah, I was quite lucky. Robin, my first, she cluster fed all the time in the evening, and I didn't have any other kids then, so it was fine. So like just sit down and chill and go with the flow. Whereas Isabel, my second, cluster fed overnight, so again, it wasn't really that much of a problem because I co-slept bed shed. Um, so she was kind of feeding and I was dozing in and out of sleep all the time and I was still around, obviously, for, for my first to be able to get up and do things with her. So the next one would be that you're always hungry and thirsty. Now, I mean, you have a basket of snacks right next door to you. Sorry, the kids are here. A basket of snacks next door to you whether it be like biscuits or fruit or cereal or whatever whatever the whole myth of oh you breastfeed and you lose weight kind of didn't work for me I was so hungry and so thirsty as well on that I always I was always walking around with like a bottle of water and um, it's slowed down now that obviously now that she's 18 months I'm still really thirsty all the time but Perhaps don't drink as much as what I should, but yeah, <laughs> it's, you're constantly thirsty and hungry. So this one is kind of a really important one for the I wish I knew. Um, when you're breastfeeding, if it hurts, there is something wrong, whether it be the wrong latch, whether it be the wrong position, just yeah, there is something wrong. Breastfeeding is not meant to hurt. It's meant to feel uncomfortable, like, it's not meant to feel uncomfortable, it'll be uncomfortable for like the first week um, while your nipples like get used to it, but it really shouldn't hurt. So Robin, my first, um, has absolutely killed like toe curling pain, biting onto something because it really, really hurt. Um, obviously later on we found out that she had tongue tie, so that would be the reason why she couldn't do it, because she couldn't get a good enough latch. Whereas Isabel, my second, her tongue tie was sorted really quickly and it didn't hurt at all. It felt uncomfortable and a bit weird, but I don't know if that's because my nipples were kind of used, like knew what they were doing. I'm not too sure, but yeah, if it hurts, there is something wrong and go and try and sort something out to make it not hurt. So this is another one that I wish I knew. Well, yeah. Yeah, I wish I knew. It's so easy to go out when you're breastfeeding. 
So in terms of packing, because all do you what all you need for what a breastfed baby is nappies and wipes and a change of clothes. I don't need to worry about the bottles, I don't need to worry about formula, I don't need to worry about a hot flask with a water or however you make it up. Um that even goes to show at home as well. Like I don't have to sit around and clean bottles all the time or anything like that. It's it's really kind of convenient in terms of getting out and being at home um, also like you can go and feed on the go like on the sling you can have baby in um, so that's really helpful for when you have a second child I had to move upstairs to the office the kids were kicking off it's fine um, so yeah so that's everything that I wish I knew before starting my breastfeeding journey um, it is the most rewarding journey you can ever think of it's so natural and so amazing like there's no words you can even describe it so i hope this helped um remember to like and subscribe possibly even leave me a comment on things that you wish that you knew before starting your breastfeeding journey or if you're about to start your breastfeeding journey and you want some like more question like you want to ask me a question then feel free to drop them in the comments um yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon bye